Hi everyone and welcome back to Disc Golf Valley Tips and Tricks and today we're going to take a look at Daily Challenge. I just call it the Daily. Um, so if you ever hear me talking about the Daily, that's what I'm talking about. And um, this is a chance for you to not only gain experience points so that you can level up and access more discs for your bag and as you level up more and more the discs that you'll be presented will be better and better so it's a it's a good idea to try and level up and when you're just playing challenge the valley you don't get a lot of these experience points and so a good way to do that is to occasionally i do it every day play the daily challenge to get experience points but in addition to experience points you'll notice that you also get coins if you look down here if you um, get enough points to qualify for the diamond level in any given day, you will get an accumulation of, let's see, 200, 300, 350, 375 coins that you would get by uh, achieving the diamond level any given day. And coins are great because that's what allows you to purchase not only discs, um, let's see, go to the pro shop, and if you go to Daily Deals, you'll see that there are discs being offered here. You notice that some are grayed out here. Those will kind of open up once you reach level 10. I'm still only at level 9, but once I reach um, level 10, some of these will show up now. Others, you have to wait till you're level 20 for that uh, level of disc to show up. And uh, some, I think, even 35 or more. The Rives especially, I think maybe even 50, level 50 before you can be presented with those. But if you have some coins and you need a disc, check here. You might be able to purchase a disc with the coins that you have accumulated. The other reason why you want coins is to open up slots in your bag. Now I have already opened up uh, the two empty slots in my main bag. But then um, in utility slots, I still have some to open. And you've probably noticed this in your bag. You press on this and it says, okay, you can get another slot in your bag, but it's going to cost you 25,000 points. Well, how do I get 25,000 points? Well, one way is to play the daily. If you're really impatient and want to open up the slots in your bag, it is possible to purchase coins. Let's see. Scroll right down to the bottom here. Yeah, for $49.99, you can purchase 100,000 coins. Probably, I would say, a better way is just to do it slowly by playing the Daily Challenge. The Daily Challenge isn't the only one. You can also gain coins by doing the Pro Tour. Or the Multiplayer also gives you some coins. We'll maybe talk a little bit more about Multiplayer and Pro Tour in another video today. Let's just kind of focus in on this daily challenge. And I think it might be fun to actually do a daily challenge. And let's maybe, before we start playing the course, just notice a couple things. You can check out, first of all, the course layout for today. You'll see that we're going to visit three different courses. And we're going to play three holes on each course and they even give you the number of the hole that you'll be playing in this daily challenge. Now up here in the very top corner you'll see that uh, we are rated at uh, being in level 0 to 9 and what that is basically saying is that because you're a beginner you're just starting out we're making the daily challenge quite easy for you. After you uh, hit level 10, then you're going to be presented with a little bit more challenge in this daily challenge. All right, but for now, it's a fairly easy one to uh, get your diamond on. And today we'll be playing Sunshine Glade, Windswept Fields, and Lakeside. Anything else we should take a look at? Oh, I think we can go ahead. All right, here's a, a tip that uh, will help you get to the diamond level, and that is the first hole is usually something that you can either get an ace on or an eagle. Now, it's an eagle that may not necessarily be easy to get, but the great thing about the daily challenge is that if you miss it, let's see what can, we can do here. Let's take our, our fuse and see if we can't ace this right off the bat. I'm going to change it to a backhand and I'm going to pull it down to about here. I 
Okay, so we missed our A's. We could just come back for our birdie, but since we can restart, we might as well restart over and over again until we get the ace, and that gives you a good start towards your diamond uh, level for this daily challenge. Now, on the daily challenge, the wind conditions are going to be the same every time you restart because you're playing against, you know, a thousand other players that are on this level, and they want the competition to be fair. Everybody's playing in the same wind conditions on the daily challenge for that day. So each time you come back, it's going to be the same. And so that gives you an idea of what you need to maybe adjust a little bit to uh, get the ace the second time you try. Of course, the problem is this little cameraman is moving up and down and around, and, and that's what makes it difficult. Yet, but we can restart and just keep restarting if you have the time. Now, not every day you'll have the time to do this, but if you are relaxing and uh, you've got the time, it's fun to start out with a good score. And there we go. Got our ace. We're off and running. And what would be really nice is if we could do that again, get another ace on hole two. That would really get us on a good start, but not quite. turn on the sound here so we can hear the birds and the chain in the basket. All right. There used to be a way that you could easily get uh, eagle on this one, but they've made it a little harder, so I'm, I'm just going to do kind of a layup here. Seventy-one is just a little bit far for this fuse. And I'm not doing too much commentary for these. If you've been following along on our 2024 course, you know what tips and tricks I've been suggesting for these. This hole, you can really go either way, but when it's a wind like this, I sometimes try for that elusive ace on this hole. By the way, if you don't have a flow disc, you can still 
try for that ace with a 10 speed musket roll attribute and that uh, pretty much flies the same Uh, we usually take out our roll disc for this one as well so we don't run the risk of having the disc slide off into the lake we like it to stick the landing for those nice tap-ins okay here's where we could blow it the uh, Seven speed is about the best we can do in this with this bag. We still haven't really got a good five speed that we usually like to use here. All right, let's see if we can land this. Ooh, almost went in. That would have been nice on our way. I think we've already got what we need if we don't blow it on hole nine to get our diamond and all those points and coins. Hmm. What have we got here? I don't know if this, this pure makes it. So let's go with our seven. Maybe just uh, so it doesn't slide off to the woods so much. We'll maybe hold up a little bit. That's fine. And that does it. So here's where we can uh, now collect all of our points. Hit finish. We see we got a uh, minus 11, and I think to get the diamond, all we needed was a minus 8. So we went over and above. <coughs> so we get a few experience points there, but what we're really interested in is those coins. We're also getting experience points here as well. And that helps us level up. But you see that we got, but you see that we got 250 experience points and 375 coins. One more thing I'll show you here: you can check your score against all the others that have been playing this round at this level, yeah, just by going here, and we'll see that uh, we have three people that have bettered my score with a minus 12, and uh, there was one or two that we probably should have. Uh, gotten a little better score on and then we would have been at the top All right, so there you go daily challenge hope that you were able to pick up a few tips there and uh, If you haven't already uh, done so I invite you to subscribe to our channel and that way you'll get notified every time We drop another video and we'll see you next time here at disc golf valley tips and tricks along for today